नायिका सामग्री राज्य लक्ष्मी शाहले आफूले काम गरेका आठ मध्ये तीन वटा फिल्म ब्यानरबाट अति नै दुर्व्यवहार भोगेको बताएकी छिन् तर उनले आफूमाथि नराम्रो गर्ने फिल्म तीन ब्यानरका नाम भिडियोमा उल्लेख गरेकी छैनन् 17 वर्षको उमेरमा चलचित्रमा डेब्यू गरे त्यो बेला धेरैले हाम्रो क्षेत्र सानो छ कति कुरा बाहिर निकाल्नु हुन्न भन्थे काम नपाउने चलचित्र नै नपाउने जस्ता कुरा पनि गर्थे हरेक चलचित्रको प्रमोसनमा जादा सोधिने किन घमण्डी किन मान्छेले घृणा गर्छन् लगायतका प्रश्नले दिक्क हुन्थे मैले जति पनि ब्यानरसँग काम गरे त्यो मध्ये धेरैसँग काम नदोहोरिनुको कारण उहाँहरूले मलाई गर्ने व्यवहार नै हो एउटा कलाकारले पाउनु पर्ने सानो सामान पनि यहाँ छैन कति पटक ह्यारेसमेन्ट हुन्थ्यो तर पनि त्यो सब कुरालाई जोक जस्तो मानेर मुहारमा हाँसो ल्याएर काम गर्नु पर्थ्यो कतिसम्म भयो भने समयमा खाना र पानीको व्यवस्था नहुँदा यसको बारेमा बोल्यो भने सबैको अगाडि अपशब्द प्रयोग गरेर बोलिन्थ्यो आक्रमण शैलीमा आउँथे धेरै बेर हुन्थे केही नभए जस्तो गरेर फेरि मेकअप गरेर सुटिङ जोइन गर्थे किनकि मलाई कामसँग प्रेम छ कामको सम्मान गर्नुपर्छ भन्ने मलाई थाहा छ मैले सकेको सय प्रतिशत भन्दा बेसी मेहनत लगाएर नै काम गर्थे मैले पाँच वर्षको करियरमा आठवटा चलचित्रमा काम गरेकी छु तर यो बिचमा मैले धेरै नराम्रो अनुभव भोगेको छु काम गरेका तिनवटा ब्यानरमा अति नै नराम्रो व्यवहार भोगेकी छु जुन सबै म भन्न सक्दिन होला दर्शकहरू नायिका सामग्री राज्य लक्ष्मीले आफूले भोगेका कुराहरू यसरी लाइफमा बताएकी छिन् अब सुनौ उहाँकै आफ्नै बोलीबाट I know, what's popping? <laughs> it's second day, so don't mind. Um, so this quarantine, Kapila, I had a lot of time to think about things that I was, you know, just ignoring or running away from. But then, yeah, there was like time where you realize, no, it's time to face it. And since I were, you know, Bollywood actor who recently passed away and then Kangna go uh Kangna being so honest and sharing things I was watching a video and just I was like she was talking about what actually happens inside industry that people don't want to talk about or don't like to talk about if they want to talk about they are like I don't know there are many things that have been happening in Nepal but then people don't like to talk about it and it's been five past like what the five years that I've been in this industry I've done eight movies and there were like situations and places that I saw which was too much to handle for a 17 year old kid and I saw it all and I was very disgusted but then at the same time I loved my job and then there were people out there who were like I know like because I told the person like what I had been through and when I told them they were they felt very bad for me but then at the same time they would tell me not to tell anyone because this industry is like you know very small and people who are in power have control and they have this unity and if they don't want you in they can you know then it's over for me i wouldn't get any job offers or movie offers and everything like i've heard that for past five years i still get pissed off <sighs> and then i used to go on movie promotions like now as a twin movie or curry movie promotion but then they i was tired like horrific interview man they would ask me the same questions like why do people hate me so much and why are you called comedy and blah 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 da, da, da. and i was tired of the same question i mean because people thought i was comedy to see i am in places where i need to be not just like random men so oh, got a comedy i'm not that person so i was like what's happening like how is this thing has been circulating for so long why and then you know ding 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 it made me realize 
I've worked with eight different people. And there were like three people I worked with whose movie went, who, because I worked with them, that's why like I got a good opportunity. But then there were things that I saw, things they did to me, and I was not happy with it. So I, I chose to not work with them again. They did offer me movies, but then I chose to not to work with them again. And that's when they started to spread lies about me. And they still do raise up. Uh, I was sick and tired. Trust me, I've been, there was a time where I was harassed, literally harassed. And the person laughed on my face, making a joke out of it in front of like many men's and working people. I was just 17 years old. I got it together. And this was you. Then again, there was a time where there was another movie. There was a time where management was not good. And I told that person like, you literally lied to our face, like we're not getting food properly, like we're not getting our food in time. We don't even get to drink water. Like it's not fair, this is not a good management. And that person literally was trying to come at me like, I'm gonna beat you up when you're a study, you know? You motherfucker, and whatever, whatever, no, 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 no. And then she got up, I was shocked. She did that in front of like the entire crew. I cried for two hours and then it was time for me to shoot. I literally washed my face, redid my makeup and then just like pretending like nothing happened because I need to be professional. No matter what, people spread a lie about me. You should know about me that I'm very sincere in my work. I'm very disciplined when I need to be. I love my work, I'm always on time, I give my 110%. If there are times where I'm weak, sorry that I'm weak and I'm going through my shit, but when it's working hour, I never tend to lack off because I don't like to be, you know, said in my face or thrown at my face that she doesn't do a good job. If someone does that, then I'll try to do even better next time or that day so. And then there was another movie where I was lied to my face, where I thought that person was my guardian and everything. I loved that person. And even in interviews, like there were like so many people out there who hated that person, but then I didn't care because I loved her work and loved that person's work. And so I was always there for that person, but that, that person kept on me lying to my face, just broke my trust, did pretty shitty things to me and since then like I did get job offers from them but I didn't do it. <laughs> they might lie, oh no she was like this and that, she was such a nakravali and all that. So like I had to choose a Naya heroine, no that's a lie. Uh, and so you see about me saying this and posting on this media, many people are gonna get offended, mad, call me names, curse me and whatever. One, maybe there, there, there are people out there who have never met me or worked with me, but then did same kind of pretty bad things to the person they've worked with and they might get mad too. People don't like to talk things like this out in media. If you don't like to take things like, you know, if you don't want these things to come out, then please respect us actors, treat us equally. Please give us some respect. That's all I want. Not every, like I've done eight movies I've told you. Only three movies were a bad experience and eye-opener for me, but then this particular movie, Gaya Suni, they have given me a warm welcome. They've loved me, supported me, 
but then there are a few people out there who have like huge name, huge banner, but then trust me, I've seen them doing things and it's not fair. I know that people are gonna even make more bad rumors about me, even worse maybe, but I've been used to hate first. I've been used to people hating me for so long since like my school days, high school days. High school, man, if you ask someone that who knew me, ask them, they might tell you, like, I wouldn't talk to anyone. I didn't have any friends because whenever I chose to make friends, I was either backstabbed or, like, you know, lied to. That's when I was like, I'm here to study. My mom, my parents are, like, spending their money, their time and effort on making me something that I should be or can be, but then these people are ruining it for me. I'm not going to let them. So I've been hated by many. I still am hated by many. There are like Kati followers, my Instagram, my Facebook. My, most of them, they are there for me, love me, support me. But then there are some of them who are there to hate me, to criticize me. And you know what? I'm used to it. I'm not complaining about that, but what I'm complaining about is like, I know I'm not the first one who have been through things, like seen things, but I really wanted to talk about it, so I had to. I mean, actors are itty hot, so itty, you know, billions of you know, boys are cramping, high speed actor. Oh my God, it's a lie. Like everyone is in this together, okay? I'm not talking about actors. We actors, I don't know, like, if the mirror back background, family background, I'm not from the movie industry. I'm the only one. Like, my family's not from the movie industry. I'm the only one. But then, it's like, not everyone is bad, but then there are few people who are bad and very powerful. There was one of the director who also came to me and talked to me like, now you're big and everything, you know, like you've grown up and everything. And, but please like, don't tell these things in media because he was also like, that person was also like, I'm sure he's done pretty bad things or whatever. I don't know. If I'm telling the truth, so why is it that bad? We need to let people know it's not all happy, happy. It's not all glamorous, glamorous, goody, goody. Working environment, even if the person is doing bad to me, no matter what, the work environment, I'm not going to be a bad actor. I don't want that, of course. I don't want your behavior to affect me, and that's never going to affect me. Action, when I put you action, gun, when I put you, then I'm going to be me. I'm so sorry, like, I'm saying all of those things, but it had to be done. I wish I could say in details, but then if I say in details, trust me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. And I hate seeing people cry. And I hate seeing people, you know, see me crying. So yeah, bye, take care.